Hi there, me again. In last week's video, I took you guys on the first leg of a long road trip that led me through Zion National Park, where I got to photograph some amazing landscapes on film. Today, we're continuing that road trip and getting to our final destination, as well as taking some photos along the way and once we get there. So let's hit the road. The morning after we stopped in Zion, we immediately got on the highway which took us through Las Vegas. As we passed through Las Vegas, I thought to myself, maybe one day I too will plan a casino heist with George Clooney and a band of misfit criminals. But today was not that day. After passing Vegas, we quickly found ourselves back in the desert and I found my first photo of the day. While on the highway, we passed a small mobile home community and I saw a plane parked in somebody's yard, so I had to pull over and take a picture. I'm glad I did because this scene gives me real life Breaking Bad vibes, and this final image turned out to be one of my favorites from the entire trip. After a few more hours of driving through desert landscapes, we reached our final destination, Lake Havasu City. Hello everyone. Today, you may notice that I'm not in the usual place that I'm talking to you from, and that's because I'm visiting my aunt and uncle in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. So I'm hoping to do a lot of film photography videos while I'm out here. Um, some maybe in the mountains, some in some national parks. I'm probably going to go to Joshua Tree, go out in the desert for a day, and I might go out in the city too, so do some street photography. So we'll see what we can get. Um, but I think I'm going to start by just going around and taking pictures of some of the suburbs and some of the architecture because it's way different from the stuff that I see in the Midwest. So yeah, I think some of the really cool buildings and old cars that there are a lot of out here are going to make for some cool scenes along with some of the mountains that are in the background. So I'm going to go out with my Canon P as always and I'm probably going to be mostly using this Jupiter 12 35mm lens and Kodak Ultramax 400 for this one um, and we're just going to see what we can get so let's get to it. As I got ready to film the video I heard a weird noise. I looked up and saw what it was. Hummingbirds. Before I went out into the suburbs, I had to get some hummingbird photos, but my Canon P wasn't going to cut it. I needed to shoot digital. So these pictures that I'm going to show you were taken on my Sony a7 III with a Russian 200mm lens. I also took these photos at 1 5,000th of a second to freeze the hummingbird's wings. I think these shots are super cool. I love the detail in the wings, and I found three shots that I think make a good set. Also, you can tell male hummingbirds by their purple on their head and neck, kind of like nine-year-old me when I decided to shotgun a grape soda. After the hummingbirds got their sugar rush, I decided to take my first suburban photos in the backyard. These flowers had some amazing light on them and I couldn't pass that up.
Okay, so we are driving around looking for cool houses and cars and stuff to take pictures of, and I found that on these little hills back behind where I'm parked, there's some really expensive houses that are set up on top of these little hills. So I think what I'm going to do is try and take a few pictures of the different houses that you can see kind of going across the foothills of these mountains. So. Um, I'm probably going to use the 90 millimeter for this one because I kind of want to just make it a minimal little composition with just the house and a little bit of the mountain and some sky. So we'll see what we can get. As I took this picture, I noticed an older man coming out of his house. I could tell by his look that he was not down with the whole burbs on film thing. Excuse me. How's it going? What's going on? How are you? How are you? How are you? Good. Why are you taking pictures of my house? Oh, I'm just a film photographer. I'm going around taking pictures of cool architecture in the area. Okay. I prefer you don't. Okay. No, no worries. Really, he doesn't have the right to tell me what to do, but I already got the shot, so why argue? This next shot turned out super cool. Some people tell me peanut butter and jelly is the best combo. I personally think it's UFOs and desert. My last shot of the day would be a landscape. The light was fading fast, and I decided I'd call it after this one. So I pulled out the 90mm and got to work. I liked this shot, and it was a good evening of shooting, but I wasn't satisfied, so I went out the next evening. This is another one of my favorites. I love that these aren't the most photogenic palm trees, and the grouping is just so satisfying. I think this was the type of lighting I envisioned when I thought about taking photos like this. Anyways, that's it for this one. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from this trip, as well as more photo and video related content. Bye now!